Here we go. What's up, students, fellow scientists? I'm here with my special guest, Jeremiah. We are here to show you how to organize your binder. Here we go. So looking at your binder, you should have, uh, you're going to get the same binder checklist uh, printout. And this is what I'm going to use to grade it. So when we organize it, it should have, should be only one binder for biology. Um, it should be in the following order, worksheets, then quizzes, homework, then notes. The binder is neat and clean. All items are in the three, in the three rings and they're all organized and numbered. Okay, so we're going to start with worksheets. Um, in your pockets, remember what your pockets are for. Your pockets can be used to put um, your concept cards, to put your translation cutouts, to put some other things, whatever it is on the side. Okay, so here we go. First thing you should always have is your reading strategies list. As you encounter new reading strategies, you should be filling this up. Um, it's fine for now if you leave it like that. We're going to add a lot in quarter four. This is item B. This is your syllabus. Always have that because it talks about how you're graded in the course. Um, item C, this is the on task sheet, which tells you what we expect when you're to be on task. Make sure you always review that. And then this is item D, which you uh, printed it out online which includes everything you're learning about. Some of you are wondering what's going to be on the midterm. Well, we're doing all genetics. So if you go to the genetics part where it says here um, on the bottom, it says Mendelian genetics. So starting from there, unit three, all these items are items that I can test you on. All the way down to where it says unit four, molecular genetics. Um, so all these things are testable. That's all the stuff we learned. So I'm going to pull questions from that. Okay, so then we start with our worksheets. This is worksheet one, karyotypes. This is worksheet two, um, karyotypes part two, which you have this, and it comes with this stuff here in the back. Worksheet three is this one on cell division. We took those notes. Worksheet four, it was parts of the cell matching. Um, but on the back, it was stages of mitosis. So that's worksheet four. Uh, worksheet 5 is comparing mitosis and meiosis. And there was also, you know, a practice test that you could use to review. Worksheet 6, the cell division stop motion video project instructions. Worksheet 7, it's just really your karyotype letter. You should get it returned. If I saved it and I used it for to put it on the board or something as an exemplar, then don't worry about it. In here, just make a note that it, that I'm using it on the board as an as a model. Um, there is he told me not to show you this, and I won't tell you who the owner is. He told me not to show you that, but I showed you anyway. So sorry. And this is oops. This is again your. Um, this is a make a baby lab, so that's right. You want to have all that completed. This is the um, the genetics SpongeBob worksheet packet one, which we're gonna call number nine. Number ten is the SpongeBob packet number two, which we're calling here worksheet number ten. Eleven. This is the one the reading about the ABO blood system, so A and B blood types and all that. And then it talks about pedigrees on the back. So as you can see right there, um, it has in solving pedigree problems that we didn't really talk about too much. Don't worry about that. Um, this is worksheet 12. This is very important, how to solve these types of problems. So worksheet 12. Worksheet 13, DNA structure and replication. So it was this graphic organizer we did. We also did the lab. Remember your favorite lab where you gargled with salt water? That was fun. And then on the back is a concept map. Make sure you review that. That's also going to be on the exam in the midterm. This is number 14. Um, we did this type, this worksheet, practice with those problems. And uh, also in the back, if you remember, it had a transcription reading. So that is worksheet 14. It was a transcription reading. Then we talked about worksheet 15. We had the codon chart. And then we watched this PowerPoint where you took notes on it and everything. 
and then this is number 16 and this is the make a protein lab that we did where we use the beads and all that and you had to take this home basically do all these uh, translate all of it and then on the back you had to answer the question make sure all of it is completed um, this is then worksheet 17 and this is mutations on the back we talked about the three type the different types of mutations that's also on the exam um, then we talked we took notes on this here and that's going to be on the exam to label and then on the back make sure that you also have that completed worksheet 18 recombinant DNA technology genetically modified organisms that's also on the exam there number 19 the science of reprogramming cells that's what you just received I think today so that should talk to the text etc and then answer some of the questions there um, and then we should have worksheet 20 which is your review packet number 20 so I'm just gonna retitle it review packet make sure you practice all those problems there are a lot of them are on the exam okay so that's our worksheet section now we can go to the quiz section and it's good if you have tabs you don't have to but it's always nice so here we go Qu quiz 15 is this one on chromosomes quiz 16 is on karyotypes quiz 17 is on mitosis quiz 18 is on meiosis Quiz 19 is on the genetic vocabulary words. It's on those 21 flashcards or concept cards we did. Quiz 20 is on ocean acidification where your classmates presented. Quiz 21 is on SpongeBob genetics on those SpongeBob worksheets we did, 21. Quiz 22, number 22, is on the Punnett squares and creating sex cell combinations. Quiz 23. So 23 is on autosomal and sex link traits and a little bit of pedigrees. Quiz 24 is on DNA structure and replication. Quiz 25 is on DNA transcription, how you make RNA. Quiz 26 is on DNA translation, this is how you make proteins. Quiz 27 is on translation part 2 with including mutations. Quiz 28 is on genetic engineering and mutations. Now we're going to go to the homework section. So, homework tab. So, you should have this was one of the homeworks uh, is to create your karyotype from your cutouts. This is homework number, I think number four it says here, but uh, 41. And this is where you, I think you watched some videos and did some bullet points. Homework 45, there's some practice problems. Um, and this was one of the homeworks as well. See so the things we're looking at. Um, homework specifically 42, you have to do some bullet points on a, on a video. And again, just really we're looking for all the homeworks that ha you had to do bullet points and things. If you had to do worksheets and print them out, you can put them here, but um, that's really what we're looking for. Homework 47 was one where you had to do the tongue rolling activity and then watch a video on pedigrees and take some notes and bullet points, 15 bullet points. Another, this was homework 48, you had to do some bullet points after the DNA um, video. 49, you had to do some base bear practice, you had to print it out, do some practice, 49. And then this was the uh, transcription reading, um, which I believe actually this is in the worksheet section. I think the student has a duplicate. Homework 51, uh, homework 53, homework 55. And again, I'm just in particular just pulling out the homeworks that had you know, bullet points. If a homework had a special a certain worksheet that was in the that needed to go in the worksheet section, we leave it in the worksheet section. We just got to make sure that uh, it's complete. Here's some cell division notes. These are what you want to have in there. I'm looking for these in particular. 
your notes on mitosis and meiosis, where we had to do the full drawing all the way until they get four cells. Um, then you have uh, some notes. Twin notes are very important. Um, and then you have your ocean acidification notes and any other notes, but I'm already just looking at those twin notes and mitosis meiosis for now. Usually we take our notes on the handouts. And that's it. What do you think, Peter? Cool? What do you think? The video? Yeah, I was just making a video right now.